Hello. I am here, you can't tell, but I'm at the Eden Prairie Mall, where they filmed Mall Rats. It's a 90s movie. Um, I'm sitting in my car, and I'm going to answer some questions, because you guys wrote questions to me six months ago, and I never did the answering video. So I thought, well, here we go. Um, why are you wearing sunglasses when it doesn't seem that sunny? Um, well, it looks like the, the white hot fucking sun next to me. Can't see anything, um, but it's not. It's actually kind of cloudy. Uh, the reason I'm wearing sunglasses is that I hate the way I look. And if I could wear a full mask, I would. <laughs> uh, first question is by Philosophes. Philosophes. What software do you use to animate? Ever have a challenging time juggling creating episodes and working a full-time job? Would you prefer to have a series on Fox or a series on Adult Swim? Uh, Philosophies, I would say that I use, uh, I use iMovie. I don't know how to animate. I don't know how to use any of the animation programs. I'm terrible. I'm a terrible human. You're going to learn more about that later. Um... Do I have a challenging time? No, because I figured out the perfect balance of uh, when to work on the cartoon, when not. Turned out this stupid motherfucking thing. God damn it! I bought this thing from Five Below. It's a, it's a cheap fuck. God. Oh, I'm so close. Get off, double chin you. Hey, we're back. <laughs> I just had to reset it up. I think it's gonna fall every like five minutes. So. What a cheap thing. Five dollars. Unbelievable. Uh, let's go to the next question. Christopher Walken, Horse 45. I want to know a lot about the show, how it started, where you planned on heading with the show, and are you where you want to be now? That's a big question, Christopher Walken, Horse 45. Uh, by the way, big fan of you. Uh, you always write nice comments. Um, what was the question? Um... Where am I where I want to be now? At the fucking mall? Yep. Crooked sunglasses? No. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, yeah, in a way, yes, I am. I, 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 I like where the show is. I, I do. Uh, Johnny Boy 44 says, Okay, my question is about the 17 on Ellis's shirt. We know that you met Ellis, or your real-life friend, after your father's passing. My question is, does the 17 represent that Ellis... Is your angel 17 is the number of the angel am i reading too much into this or am i close or should i keep searching for the answer anyways thank you luke for all your hard work and dedication i always read the end parts when they start sucking me off anyways thank you luke for your hard work and dedication to this awesome show uh yep uh thanks johnny boy 44 um the 17 is because of doc ellis uh, if you look him up, you will understand a lot about Ellis. Um, my father did not die. He is still alive. Um, a lot of people think he did, and that means that I am a wonderful storyteller. <laughs> no, but he's still with, he's still with us, thank God. And uh, um, he is the... God damn it. Well, then what? Then what the fuck? Back, back at it. Will you ever do a fan meetup? Would love to meet and blaze with the legend. Um, probably not. You don't want to hang out with me. Um, but if we run into each other, I'd love to, to blaze with you. Keep calling me a legend. Crisco J Jesus wrote that. Uh, longtime fan. He comments all the time. Yeah, maybe I'll just get new sunglasses. I get it. I understand. Everything I own is cheap. Everything I do is cheap. <laughs> uh... Steve the Pyro writes, is DJ a metaphor for feeling smarter when you're high? Um, Steve, he is now. That's awesome. Where did you first come up with the idea of pine vinyl? In your mom's house. On a couch. Miss TV Hayes. Mike Smith wrote that. He writes all the time. He's awesome. Miss TV Hayes, who is one of my favorites. She wrote, sorry if this is a repeat. Question. Do you only write when you smoke, and does it coincide with your releases? Uh, when you wrote the word releases there, it made me think of something something gross. Do you only write when you smoke, and does it coincide with your releases? Um, that's a thing about me, TV Hayes. 
I'm always high. That was an Avengers bit. It was like a... Remember when Cap, uh, Incredible Hulk turns to Captain America and he says, that's the thing about me, Cap. I'm always angry. And then he turns into the Hulk. Um, so the, the answer is yes, um, I am always. Uh, Jacoby Davis writes, what's your end goal with this? Have you ever thought about pitching the idea of a Pine Vinyl show to Adult Swim, HBO Max, Netflix, or any other network? Uh, I tried in the beginning. Um, I tried to package it up, but it wasn't good enough. Um, it wasn't, there wasn't much to sell. So I just kept making them. And I think, I think, I think someone could want them now. I think they're good enough to be bought now, but I like it. I like it where it is. We'll just, we'll just stay here for now. Hedo Jones, long time uh, commenter, awesome guy, or girl, I'm not sure, or they. What was your first live concert, band and year, and who did you go with? Uh, my first live concert was the Pointer Sisters, because I'm a thousand years old. <laughs> you know, Stranger Things, I lived it, man. Not the monster parts, just the brown walls and stuff. Tom Callaghan, Tom Callaghan, Tom Callaghan writes, what was the first solo hit of Ringo Starr solo career? I don't know. That uh, was it. You're beautiful and you're mine. Uh, the 16 year old one where he bangs a 16 year old. Owen Shores. Is it, is that a real name? Uh, do it in the comments. Uh, tell me, yes, Owen Shores is a real name or not a real name. Do you actually run a record shop? No, I do not. It's all fantasy. Bacon Bits writes, "What's your favorite strain?" Um, we live in Minnesota, man. We're lucky with what we get. Um, my favorite strain is the one that I have. I'm able to to participate with. Uh, Logan Baker writes, uh, "Logan's also a longtime fan." Really, all these people are. <laughs> all these people are the best. When did DJ start hanging with Ellis and Rogburn? Funny you ask that. Uh, it just happened. I just made an episode about that this month. Um, so, Logan, you can take credit for it. Um, he also questions why I spell Bacchus differently. Um, Bacchus was originally spelled B-A-C-C-U-S. Um, and I remember I spelled it that way because there is a real officer Bacchus with a real mustache that tormented me in my high school and it was it was just kind of a troll on him but I didn't want to use his real name but I spelled it different but I don't remember how his name actually was spelled and then Swanee who is my cohort and all this he said spell it back and then ass like just and I like that it's very belittling so we just changed the name I for continuity in the pine vinyl world, pine vinyl universe, cinematic universe, um, I would say the reason his name is spelled differently is because he keeps changing his name so he can continue being a cop. He's a dirty cop. Danny TGW, TGW who is in my top five favorite um, fans, said, have you ever been out of the States? If so, where? If not, where would you want to go? I've been for about about two hours I was in Tijuana and I was fucking terrified the whole time um terrified a uh, little kid I was on that bridge little kid offered me chiclets I didn't want chiclets I didn't understand why he was asking I've never had anyone ask they, they I was offered a drink um I remember the street lights the uh traffic lights were very loosey-goosey like they were like red and green but like it didn't feel like they were like talking to each other and they were just it's more me i was scared because of me because of who i am not it, it's not their fault it's not mexico's fault um also logan comments on the ljl and cs when you see those in the in the show ljl is me luke james larock cs is um for swanee's initials and I like to hide them in the cartoons. I also hide wieners. Um, oh, wait, I went back to the question previous. He had a lot of stuff in there. I had to go back. Anyway, thank you, Danny TGW, for your question. 
Subaru Love, who also comments a lot, love him. Are the characters based on real people? And if so, do they know your cartoon exists? The answer is yes, and they do. Um, I'm Rugburn. My buddy's Ellis. Um, I have a lot of buddies that globble together for DJ. Um, uh, Packer Dan is a lot like my dad. Um, Rugburn's mom is like my mom. Um, but even Ellis is a little bit... Like, I love Michael Jackson. Um, I... I can't swallow pills and I can't do eye stuff very well. Um, but Swanee can't do eye stuff. That was, he wrote that, that kind of, that gimmick, that bit, not gimmick, that bit. Um, I'm starting to zone out. I got to focus. Uh, Jen Brooke, also in my top five favorite fans. In the episode that showed Rugburn in the 90s, his girl had a Dave Matthews sticker on her car. Were you making fun of Dave only being a 90s thing or paying respect to him? LOL. I'm a massive Dave fan and have been wondering that. Um, Jen, I apologize for reading it like that. I started doing a voice there. Um, I will be honest with you about Dave Matthews. I read a book of his, like a, bi a biography. I read it in about 1998 when I was in art school. And it was very fascinating. And I really love Live at Luther College is the best live album ever made. So there you go, Jen. Uh, Jesse Parker, 38. Luke, is skateboarding cool and smoking weed plus skateboarding even better? Uh, Jesse Parker, how old are you? If you're over 18, it is cool to smoke weed and, and skateboard. It is. Uh, careful, though. Jesus, Jesus Bahene, Bahene, Bahena, Jesus Bahena. Does Rugburn hate pizza cut in squares, or do you use Rugburn to throw that shade out there because you hate it? Hey, Jesus, guess what? That's the whole show. That's the whole point of the show, is me airing my grievances out about bullshit. Uh, he wrote another question. Nope, that's the same thing as copied it. Jose Grasa. Did you hear me roll that R? Huh? Minnesotans can't roll R's? <laughs> okay. Rrr. Jose Grasa. And I apologize. The C has a little ding-dong on the bottom. The C has a little ding-dong like a Q on the bottom, so I don't know what the makes... I don't know what happens at the C then. Honest opinion on weed. Keep up the great work. Uh, I love it, clearly. Uh, Strongba43, also a uh, uh, long-time commenter. Will Rugber never find love? If he doesn't, I won't either. Sad face crying. I feel like Jenny and Ellis might be headed towards the rocks after the Timberwolves game. Jimmy Butler's headband does look like a burrito, though. That was kind of a in-the-moment. That was eight months ago question. Um, will he ever find love? You damn right he will. Uh... Nazrula Panetti What inspired the idea behind Pine Vinyl and the title and the stories? Um, I said that earlier a little bit um, Doc Ellis in the cartoon Doc Ellis pictures a no-no Find it on YouTube again um, He says, I'm as high as a Georgia pine And that stuck with me and that's how the name Pine got thrown with vinyl. Hito Jones, jump back in with another question. All right. Two people you could pick to spend the day with, alive or dead. Who and why? I always have a hard time with that one. I know I should pick, I should probably pick like Jesus and Nikola Tesla. Ugh, why would you do that? But I, I don't want to miss out on a day with Bill Murray or Norm MacDonald. I pick Jesus and Norm. Go-karts and Outback Steakhouse from early 2000s. Hito Jones, I'm just going to let you have that, the floor with that one. Ghost Malone, which probably my favorite name. I heart Pine Vinyl. He doesn't understand questions, though. <laughs> You're supposed to ask me a question, Ghost Malone. Okay? Uh, my question is, Dorothy Chapin. Chapin? I love the name Dorothy. My question is, dude... 
What were you just talking about? Also, where's the lighter? Oh, I see. Trig CK says, you ever tried Delta 8? I did. Um, recently, my mom gave me some. And it's okay. Um, yes, I have a cool mom. K Milan, how do you feel about Trudeau? Hmm. Bad at Halloween. Seems good otherwise. Hanifa Sultana writes, your favorite video game plus LSs and Rugburns too. Um, I will say this. I just beat Cuphead, by the way. That's a flex. If you've ever played it, I beat the whole thing. I beat all the bosses. Um, how old am I? Um, in an episode, I say... In the pandemic episode, the very first pandemic episode, um, go to the Quarn Tunes. I think it's Cartoon for Stoners 14, one of them, and it's called the Quarn Tunes. Anyway, it's all quarantine jokes. The whole, I love that one because that, I did it. I was the only one making that content right away, man. Anyway, I see how I get lost in thought. Um, Side note, how long has this been staying on? That's good. Good job, Five Below. Maybe, maybe I just had to lick it. Um, Jesus Christ, what was I talking about? Um, uh, oh, video game. Castlevania 4. Jesus, Super Castlevania 4 on Super Nintendo. I'm sorry. You guys deserve better than this. Um, oh, Jesus. I turn the page and it says... Uh, Jigga J 1979 huge fan of the show and we're huge fans of him still wondering about my boy Mr. Matt Matthews um, if you don't know you don't know don't worry about it uh, that makes me laugh though every time he writes about it Gilded Vibrations asks is there still a music industry hmm so you're going to ask big time questions okay is there still a music industry yes um, I think it's easier than ever for someone to write a song, record it, and have a thousand people hear it than it ever has been. Um, I feel bad for the kids that grew up watching 90s MTV in 2000s where they had cribs and they showed all the excess and how everyone thinks you make it in music and you just become a bazillionaire when... Who says that's the case? It wasn't the case in the 60s. Most bands made very little money, even successful ones. Um... You had to be huge to make a lot of money. Not saying that musicians don't deserve a lot of money, but if you're not touring and stuff, and if you're not... Back to the cartoon. Butterfly writes, What about how Ellis thinks pre-rolls are a ripoff? Oh, you're offering them. In California, my daughter buys a $50 flavored infused rolled in a fake $100 bill. JD rather roll my own i don't know i don't know mike conley says i'm too high to think of a question uh sir jethro writes would you smoke a joint from south africa <laughs> yep i would uh yeah strong 43 writes when will burnout benny get the fast and furious weed in uh nice reference eventually k milan writes do you regret being a leftist? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Sometimes. Fancy Pants writes, Would you ever date someone who doesn't smoke weed? No, I'm married. And she's the best. Fancy Pants also writes, Do you believe in decriminalization of all drugs? Yes, 100%. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? Uh, your mom's house. Create an animated series. Yeah what we're doing here <laughs> what we're doing here what are you doing what is the greatest rock song of all time um someday some way someday some way by uh marshall crenshaw the demo version rock boy corp asterix villa lobos asterix when creating or in the process of creating these cartoons, do you find that a certain strain works better? Like, is there a certain strain that helps you create better or do they all hit the same? Um, I get uh, sativa 
and uh, indica mixed up all the time. I'm terrible. My brain doesn't work. So um, I like the one that makes me feel creative. Whatever strain that is, is the one that you guys can send to me in mass quantities. Danny J. Sims. I'm not kidding about that. I'm not going to tell you my address, but if you figure it out, don't figure it out. Don't, 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 don't. I got kids. Danny J. Sims Jr. Who does Ellis voice? Who does Ellis's, who's, who does Ellis's voice? Me. Um, it sounds like this. Yo, Rogbone, are we going to go to Walk Castle or what? And now you're thinking, boy, that didn't sound like him because I turn it down. I'm going to say the same thing and I will lower it this time. Yo, Rugburn, we gonna go to Watt Castle or what? Are you blown away? Did that just blow you away? Ilyas Askarov. Are Ellis and Rugburn's preferences in music kind of your personal taste? Would love to download a playlist if you had one. That's cool. Um, let me think about that. I like that idea. Um, my best friend Swanee right now, if he's watching this, is rolling his eyes because he thinks I have terrible taste in music. Um, we argue about that a lot. Gavin Clark says, is Paker, Paker Dan, is Packer Dan's story arc complete or is there more to come? Well, that was eight months ago he asked that and I think it has continued. Um, he is probably my favorite character. Second favorite character. DJ is my favorite character. No one asked that. But there it is, free one. Chadwick Painter, also top five. Best fans. All right, man. I know I asked this one time in a comment section, but I was too high to remember where I asked it, and it was a while back. So I'll ask here, do you do all the voices, or are there others that work with you? I especially dig Ellis's voice, but on some tunes, I hear what sounds like Rugburn saying Ellis's lines just before or after Ellis speaks the same line. I'm guessing it's a latency thing. I don't know what latency means. Or maybe the second mic is picking up. He asks a ton of good stuff there. Uh, why does the sound suck? I'm deaf. Look at my ears. Look at my uh, with hearing aids. Um, I am legally deaf. I can't hear without them at all. Um, so sometimes when I record, I have to have it really loud in the headphones and it uh, picks up. And then if I move the audio, the old one's still there. Um, but I don't care. I just keep moving. This isn't high quality. Um, the whole the show is supposed to be kind of like a punk rock cartoon. I'm not a huge punk rock fan, but I love the idea of it. Just do it yourself. Do Take the little that you know and make the best fucking thing you can out of it, right? Like the Ramones, right? You can take four chords, and the Ramones could take four chords, and they make it a fucking epic song. I am comparing myself to the Ramones. Um, this is the final question, so I'm really going to go for it. This is, I'm going to finish up this Chadwick Painter one. You do all the voices. Here's all the voices. This is me doing Rugburn. You've heard Rugburn now for about uh, 30 minutes. Um, Ellis, I did. What's up? I'm Ellis Griggs. Damn, girl. Look at you. I'd slap the shit out of that ass. I don't know why. That was mean. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, DJ is kind of a gay Napoleon Dynamite, for lack of better words. Um, hey, guys. Everything's kind of like a question when I do DJ's voice. So I don't, it's just this, yeah. Uh. Um, Hipster Cal is, uh, well, uh, je m'appelle is, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I kind of, that's how I get into his voice. I, I do, uh, I kind of get French. Uh, that's not cool. I'm Hipster Cal, whatever. Um, I'm not doing Hipster Cal's voice very well there, so I'm going to quit doing it. Um, and then, who else? Oh, yeah, Packer Dan. Okay, yeah. So my dad kind of talks a lot like this, my uh, real-life dad. Is, uh, in not this much accent, uh, but a little bit, you know, kind of does it. Uh, he calls a lot of people that guy. Oh, this guy? Oh, that guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. Oh, oh yeah, I'm Packer Dan. Pretty easy. Um... All the women I do as well, which is weird. I'm not going to do that. And um, what other main character? Burn out Betty, man. It's just your basic stoner, man. And I just try to go high, and then I try to go low, man. Just stay low, man. 
Uh, I'm not proud of that voice. That's garbage. But it's him. That's who he is. Is that all of them? Well, anyway, 